Okay, today uh, I'm going to show you our ukulele warm-up that we do in all our classes. So we hold the ukulele against our bodies with our right hand and we hold the neck with our left hand. The strings are G, C, E, A. So we're just going to start out um, picking with our thumb. We're going to push down from the top of the string. We're not going to push out from behind the string because we don't want the string to break or force the ukulele to be detuned. So again we're going to push down from the top of the string. So starting on G, just some quarter notes. And the harder you push, the louder the sound. And the softer you push, the quieter the sound. Okay, so we'll start out with quarter notes. Then a little quicker with eighth notes. Now going to C, the second string. Same thing, quarter notes. And then eighth notes. Moving to E. Quarter notes. Then eighth notes. And then A. And you want to encourage the students to not look down at the ukulele. It's okay to um, look down at the strings to see where your hands are at first. But you want to gradually move away from looking down so they're actually feeling the strings with their fingers and not looking at them. Okay? You can also do that by changing the dynamic, saying play forte. Or playing piano. Okay, so you can mix up the dynamics to um, change it up for your students. Next exercise, um, four quarter notes on each string, moving to the next string in a consecutive pattern. And you can encourage the students to say the names of the strings as they're playing them. G, C, E, A, and you can make it more challenging by increasing the speed or tempo. Um, what I'm going to add now is a chord pattern after um, the picking pattern. And the chord is going to be a C6 and we just play that open. It's a C6 chord. So after playing each string four times I'm going to strum four times on the C6. So watch. Strum two, three, four, second string. Strum A string. Um, this was actually the E string. That was my mistake. The A string is here. So I'll play it again. G. C. E. A. Now we 
we can do um, a ta ta ti ti ta rhythm, and you could do any rhythm you'd like to mix it up or change it for the students. So. And even before adding the chord in, have them play the rhythm, or the new rhythm, just by plucking. Okay, so that changes it up as well. Um, next, I'm going to do the ta-ta-ti-ti-ta -ti -ti rhythm um, by changing the pitch of the string on each part of the rhythm. So look, ta, ta. Ti ta 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 ti ti ta ta ti ti ta. Okay. Then you can add the C sixth chord as a strum on the last ta. Watch. Ta ta ti ti ta ta ta. So those are some things uh, you could do with your class, and uh, have fun with it.